Greetings and good evening. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, staff of Victoria University of Wellington, proud parents, family, friends, Fanau, and especially the graduates of 2019. Tena koto, tena koto, tena koto ka And in my Samoan language, fatalo fa tulpaia, malamamalu wa fia. First of all, thank you for this extraordinary honor, which I accept with much happiness and pride from my alma mater, Victoria University of Wellington. And in the overly generous account of achievements, which has brought me to this wonderful occasion, my depth of gratitude also goes out to everyone who has accompanied and supported me on this very blessed and colorful journey. I am well aware that one does not succeed alone. It is the support and goodwill of many that enable progress along the way and during challenging times. So, ma'alo faftai everyone. This one is all, this one is for all of us Special mention for my parents and Ainga at home in Samoa, my husband and children, family and friends here this evening. Actually, this is my first ever honorary doctorate. I'm so happy and proud. <laughs> this uh, fabulous regalia. I think I'll wear it everywhere. <laughs> I'll wear it in a bus. I'll wear it in a train. I'll wear it in a taxi and even in a plane. <laughs> All the way back to Samoa. <laughs> I might even do the safety and evacuation drill like the flight attendant I've always wanted to be. <laughs> and for sure, everyone will pay attention because of my outfit. <laughs> But this day is for you, graduates of 2019. This is your moment. This is your day. With your education and qualifications, doors of opportunities will now open for you, and you can make a difference in the lives of others and in your own life. And further down your journey of life, remember today, especially when some low moments weigh you down. The happiness and hopes for the future you hold today, surrounded with love, joy, and pride, must flow into your very being and be retained. That's your memory creation today. Hold on to it and never let it go, because good memories become worded into good stories to tell and to be held in your heart, in your mind, to keep you buoyant, to keep you grounded so you keep forging ahead no matter what. For me as a graduate of this great university, I returned to Samoa to become an English teacher. I also started writing because I wanted to tell, to write stories of Samoa, of the Pacific, which would also help students in our Samoan and Pacific classrooms learn English. Together with other Pacific writers, we felt that we also needed to share our own stories with the world through English, the international language we had inherited. We also began to write modern stories in our own Pacific languages, so they could also feature in our local school curricula. I enjoyed my work as a teacher and my writing in both English and Samoan. With my university qualification, I was also able to take up other opportunities in education and management, which also required language skills and competencies. I think no matter what work you do, language competency is always required, and you also realize the power of words. Today, as a graduate, you also take away with you the power of words in your own field of study 
and in general as a local and global citizen. As human beings, we are gifted with this power, which is enhanced with education, and which we must use wisely to bring about peace and understanding instead of division and conflict or even hurt. In my own experience, after graduating and working in many places and with different people, two words feature for me as very powerful in any workplace as much as they are in the home where it all begins. They are please and thank you. Technically, technically three words with a thank you, but referred to as two, that's English for you. <laughs> in Psalm 1, the words are fa'amolmole and fa'afetai, but whatever language you use, there will be words to express these meanings which enable you to connect to others, which enable you also to acknowledge others. And what follows is often reciprocal respect and regard. So when you go out into your future to become leaders, movers and shakers, these are important words which you must use often and with genuine feeling, please. No doubt you will use them this evening to say thank you to all, especially your lecturers, and also to say, please, may I have more champagne? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I want to congratulate you again and thank the university for making me a part of this wonderful celebration. Remember also that you have graduated from a great university in the South Pacific. If you have come from beyond the horizons of our Pacific region, you now belong to our Pacific Ainga family, Fanau. You belong to us as well. Although islands unto ourselves, we will always be connected by our oceans, which we also need to protect with our words and our actions. To all the graduates of 2019, into your future, go well. God bless. So if you want my